Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Tuesday, March 28th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro Yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, I still think that we are going up to make a big wave C. I still think this move down is just going to be a crutch into the move up, and I still believe it's going to eventually make its way all the way up to about the 165 area at the 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A projected off the bottom of this crutzen. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still believe that this right here, this ABC down will most likely hold and I believe that this is going to make a higher low, higher low and I still think this is going to end up continuing the uptrend to make that pattern like I was showing on the monthly time frame. So let's keep going down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you can definitely see the three waves down right here. You definitely see with price respecting that 78% Fibonacci level several times. Now, this move up is f fairly strong, but it definitely hasn't taken out any structure yet to tell us that it actually is continuing the uptrend. So, let's take a closer look at that on the 4-hour time frame. On the 4-hour time frame, we definitely have an impulsive move up here. We definitely have a break of struts that would should prove that this ABC is over. Then we had a very impulsive move down, go all the way back down to the pretty much the same low. It is going back up now, but until it breaks some structure, I'm not really convinced that this is actually going up yet. I do have my Fibonacci retracement on here because if it does make some sort of a three-way pattern, especially if it bounces off one of these Fib levels, makes an impulsive move down, I think that we probably should be still looking for sorts until we at least get some sort of a break to the upside like right here and if we do get that break to the upside then I will definitely believe that this is the end of a wave C and that we should be looking for longs in an uptrend. So let's head down to the one hour time frame. Now on the one hour time frame I'm either looking for this to break this high right here. If it does break that high then I'm definitely going to be looking for longs in an uptrend. But since it has not broken that high yet I'm still looking at this move up as possibly being an A. This may be being a wave B and this move up may be being a wave C. If it does make an impulsive move down, if it does take out Strutzer, I will definitely go sort for what I think would be the continuation of a downtrend. But if it does go up and take out this high maybe do something like that then the first pullback is where I'm going to be looking to go long for the continuation of the uptrend so I guess at this point we just got to pay attention whether it makes an impulsive move down at a fib level for a sort or whether it goes up and takes out Strutzer and then makes a pullback for an opportunity to go long so don't forget to join my free discord channel the link for that is on the screen and in the description thanks and happy trading